Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explain why anatomy and physiology is important for you as a personal trainer. Now most personal trainers, especially whilst they're training, cannot wait to get their exams done and dusted and out of the way and then just close the manual and never think about anatomy and physiology ever again. But it's not just a tick box. These exams are not just here so that you can tick your way through, pass, and then forget all about that information. So today I'm gonna to share with you two main reasons why anatomy and physiology is super important for you as a personal trainer. And if you stick around to the end, then I have a special download for you as well. Reason number one, it's not just about the exercises. So you may have noticed that your manual for your anatomy and physiology is split up into different sections. Now that's things like heart and circulatory system, it's things like the muscle system, the bones, the joints, and the energy system, and the hormones, so it's all got a different section. Now each of these different sections relate to a system in our body. Now these systems are what we're training every time we train. You see, when you train your client a bicep curl, you're not just giving them a bicep curl and they're getting better at doing bicep curls. You are actually training the muscle fibers. You're training the nervous system. You're training the energy system. And that's what's happening every exercise you do. You see, it's not about the exercise that you do or that you give your client. It's about the system that you work and that gets adapted. So next time you go to the gym, and you're working out and you're doing your bar back squat and then you do some deadlifts and you do some bicep curls, just think to yourself, actually, it's not about that exercise. It's actually just happens to be that by doing that exercise, you've adapted the muscle fibers, the nervous system, the energy system that you need to achieve your goal. And that's why you chose that exercise in the first place. Reason number two, future qualifications. So whether you're deciding to stay as a personal trainer, whether you're level two, going up to level three, you basically need certain prerequisites to get in to do a further qualifications like exercise referral and level four. But it's not just about that bit of paper that says, yes, you can do it, you're allowed in. It's actually about the knowledge needed. Now, we generally find that if at exercise referral level, people struggle if they don't have the understanding of the heart and circulatory system, of the muscles and of the hormones in particular, because we go into that in a huge amount more detail in order to understand the common clinical conditions, but also to understand how that operates in the body and the medications as well. So my key thing here is if you truly understand that at the basic level, level two, then that'll help with level three. And if you know it at level three, that'll help with exercise referral and level fours. So it is really important to help you with your future qualifications. So those are my two main reasons why anatomy and physiology is important for any personal trainer, yoga, fitness instructor, and I would love to hear your opinion. So please do drop a comment below. What's your opinion of why you need to know anatomy and physiology in so much depth? You can also download 101 mock questions to check that your anatomy and physiology knowledge is up to scratch. All you need to do is click the link that's in this description. If you like this video, make sure you hit the little thumbs up button below and also subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.